Alright, welcome back to Blast of Process 4. Here we have Chica Chica Boys, and the runner this time is Paul Saltine. Take it away. Yo, thank you very much. Good morning, everybody. Good afternoon if you're in Europe. If you're on the West Coast, uh, I plead for you to go to bed. We'll, we'll be here up. Um, guys, this is Cheeky Cheeky Boys for the Genesis. Excellent game. Please, if you've never played this, when you're done this weekend, you know, when Marathon's over, check out this game, guys. Seriously, it's great. So uh, what we're going to do is we're going to play as the uh, the Red Twin here. Um, that's because in the any percent speedrun, um, we want to utilize uh, bombs over uh, physical attacks wherever possible. The Red Twin is a slightly stronger uh, magic attack. So uh, we're gonna we're gonna abuse that later on in the game. So uh, uh, instead of using the the blue twin where you kind of want to upgrade all that kind of cool stuff. But anyway, we are gonna be uh, ready for the timer to start here on level. I'll count you down from three. Three, two, one, go. So the first thing we're going to uh, engage, uh, we're going to try to collect as much money as possible. Um, what we want to do is uh, use this stage here to get enough money to buy our sword upgrade. We're only going to get one sword upgrade for the Red Twin. And we're going to use it to also buy some more bombs. Uh, this stage has a, a bunch of money. So this is why we come to this stage first. Uh, of course, money is a bit of RNG. The coins are set here, but you'll notice every once in a while, uh, you'll see like a times two multiplier on a coin. So you do have a chance of getting uh, a multiplier on each coin you pick up. So we're hoping for a lot of those to be able to get enough to buy our sword upgrade and a bunch of bombs. And here's our first boss. So this guy here has a very wonky hitbox. Unlike almost every other enemy in the game, um, we can spam him with bombs, but with the dragon, for some reason, there's like a, an invincibility for a little bit. So if you just spam him with bombs or, or hits, it, you're just going to... Uh, you're going to waste your bombs. So we can take that fight a little slow. And here we're going to hope for a little bit of money luck, some, uh, get some of those times twos here. And we've got actually horrible uh, money luck right now, which is uh, absolutely awful. If uh, this were a you know, PB paste run, or I was, you know, doing something like that, I would probably, uh, <laughs> I would probably reset. So we got one bomb. And I have to decide where to use it, and I think I'm going to use it on this guy. We can kill, uh, okay, we can kill him usually with one good bomb. Uh, or we can, uh, do a decent bomb hit on him and then just finish him off the sword. So it, there is a bit of a, uh, a setup uh, to kill the next boss, but it is fairly risky because you do take an intentional death and we never buy back the death. And since I'm already doing pretty poorly here when it comes to money, I'm just going to take this the slow, easy route. And we're just going to sword this dude down. So normally what we would do here is we would ideally come into this stage with two bombs if we had uh, enough money from the last stage. And what we would do is we would use a bomb to one-shot the first phase of this guy, and then we would take an intentional death from those fish. And then when we respawn, uh, we would have full bombs again. And then we would just spam him with three more bombs and kill him nice and quick. Um, we're going to take it a nice safe marathon uh, strategy here. I did attempt the uh, the riskier uh, intentional death um, 
strategy earlier this morning in a, in a practice run, and I did die later on in the run, and I don't want to die uh, in a marathon run. That would really, really suck. So, we'll, we'll truck on. Basically, at this point now, um, we got our sword upgrade. We're not going to buy any more sword upgrades. At the end of each stage, we're going to just want enough money to be able to buy as many bombs as possible. I'm going to use a bomb on this mini boss here to uh, one shot his first phase. Oh yeah, by the way, like, every song on this soundtrack is an absolute banger. So we're just gonna damage boost through here so we can just walk through the lava instead of waiting for the platforms. And there's a little bit of hidden money here too that I like to pick up along with that bomb. So this boss here is a bit RNG heavy. Um, you need to take out both of his arms before you can do damage to his body. Uh, and actually, he's actually giving us a pretty good pattern. Um, sometimes he likes to stay in the ground where you, you can't actually attack his arms. And that's a huge time loss, but he gave us actually a pretty good pattern there. So each boss is going to give us uh, some money drops, which is uh, pretty good. And full bombs. Don't have enough for any health. All right. <laughs> so you'll notice that we uh, we kind of did the, the first three stages out of order. Um, so we did stage two first because it had a bunch of money in it. Um, I don't know why we do stage three. In the middle. Uh, I think Izzy is in chat, so um, she can probably answer that. But here on out, all the levels are, are linear. We have to do them uh, in the order that they tell us now. So coming up, there is a uh, mini boss skip that I'm going to try to go for and get. It is pretty still don't know exactly how it works. It would save about 10 seconds if we could get it. And of course, we did not get it. Um, I believe this trick involves like doing a bunch of damage to the dragon while it's off screen and then throwing a bomb while it's also still off screen. Oh, everybody uh, wants to take me out, do they? Come on, guys. All right, so here comes. Uh, this is when we start really seeing the uh, the power of the of the magic bombs. So this guy here, this boss here, what he's gonna do? He's gonna throw a bunch of uh, his minions at us. Gonna throw a couple green ones that kind of look like walking pickles. And he's like, ah, oh, beautiful. That's great. I'm gonna throw some of the, the brown ones now. I think these are meant to be like nuts or something. Beans. Take them out too. It's okay. What the bombs? We're always gonna knock the bombs off. Explode right away. Uh, just so that they save a bit of time. This guy, we're going to throw bombs at him. And he's done. He's toast. They're, cl they're clearly beans. I think th uh, they might be pickles. I don't know. Uh, okay. So we're back underwater here now. Um, this stage actually has too many bosses and then the final boss, but uh, neither of them are over challenging. It's a pretty stage here. Just don't take too many hits. Speak of the devil. Uh, it's easy to just get 
I carried away and, and take those hits from those fish, even though I absolutely 100% should not be taking hits from those fish. You can see them coming from a mile away. And here is the uh, bite of the last uh, mini boss from the water stage. We're going to want to kill him as close to the bottom of the screen as possible because we won't be able to move to the next section until his body hits the floor here. So if you kill him at the top of the screen, it's like five, six seconds before his uh, his corpse floats to the bottom. And we're going to move right into the second mini boss. Once again, two bombs off the side of the wall. Sword swing him once. Or one of my bombs missed somehow. All right. That is interesting. I think that's only ever happened to me once before. Too quick on the second bomb. Yeah. I know there's a coffee waiting for me when I when I get out of here. <laughs> trying to trying to rush to the coffee. Final boss here again, three bombs off the side of the wall. Grab the scroll. We have exactly ten thousand dollars. Very nice. <laughs> this might be a coffee speed run. Oh, we fell down into the cavern. That's great. Great. So we're going to get thrown right into another mini boss fight here. This guy can be pretty trolly. So ideally we want to get two bombs on him, then we finish him off with our sword. He can block the second bomb shot though. Okay, we got both. So he's, uh, you can't hurt him if he's blocking like that or if he's parrying. So we just kind of got to do what we can with him. That was actually a pretty good fight. Take that. I'm gonna just talk to the fairy. Uh, if you talk to the fairies, um, if you don't have full health, they'll refill a little bit of your health. If you have full health, then they have a 50-50 chance of giving you a, a bomb drop, which is going to be very critical in the next stage. Yeah, dude, seriously, that skeleton boss is my favorite character in this game then we have the flasher man here he's only vulnerable when he has his cape open uh his pattern is a bit of rng and he's giving me a pretty bad pattern there but as long as you don't get trigger happy it's just three bombs off the side of the screen again and he is toast grab all that money and we are actually rich right now which is good. It means that we're going to be able to buy our full bombs and health whenever we want. Okay, so this here is a little bit of an auto-scroller. So uh, there's a mini boss at the top and then we move into uh, the next room and that's where the, um, the fairies are going to either be very kind to me or more than likely probably just cruel so uh, as i was just saying about the fairies um, if you have full health they have a 50 50 chance of uh, giving you a bomb we're going to use two bombs on the up on the top of the stage which means um oops we are going to have three bombs left for uh the next part of this stage ideally we want five because the there's two phases of the boss in this stage ideally you would use two bombs on his first phase and then three bombs on the second phase that is the quickest way to beat him however you are uh left to the 
You're left to the RNG gods as to whether or not you're actually going to get both bombs. Um, usually I get zero, because uh, I'm, I'm relatively unlucky. I think in my PB I got one extra bomb. So I'm just going to dunk two bombs off the side of the screen and just finish it. Skele uh, Scorpion, our sword. Yeah, it does feel awfully rigged. So yeah, there we go. We didn't get the first one. And we didn't get the second one. So like, it's going to be one of those runs. This, I mean, like, the boss is completely doable with just the three bombs, but... Uh, I find it's a lot easier to just uh, save your, your three bomb phase. First phase is a lot easier to uh, swing your sword at. And we've got the safety health there, too. I kind of want him to come out this way a little bit further, though. I don't want him... The second phase spawning off the screen, because then it takes him a little bit of time to come back. Go. Okay. Inspector Gadget? Oh my god. Oh, I'll never unsee it now. Maybe I'll change my split name to Inspector Gadget for that. So we just have a little bit of a climb here before the uh, final boss, or at least phase one. It can be a little laggy, um, just got to be mindful of that. Um, sometimes the lag can cost you a little bit of time. Also getting hit on the climb doesn't help too, is it? Because every time you get hit in this game you freeze for like a brief second. And here is our phase one of the final boss. Turns out it was a clown all along that uh, came to our beautiful nation and killed everybody except myself and my brother. So, okay, he's gonna talk a little bit. What he's gonna do now, he's gonna throw a, a little minion for us. We're gonna bomb twice and sword swing once and we're gonna use three bombs and one sword swing on this clown. Good pattern so far. Very good pattern, actually. So, yeah, he does his best like Ganon. He kind of uh, moves around the screen. Sometimes he can go completely off screen over here. Uh, if he does that, you really can't attack. But the thing is, if he's not on screen, he'll appear and disappear again right away. It does lose time, which kind of sucks. Also, if he's far over on the left side of the screen and I'm on the right side of the screen, the bombs can be a little risky. Um, sometimes the bombs don't hit or they don't do as much damage as they should. That was a very good fight. I'm, I'm happy with that. It's a shame that the rest of the run is less than ideal. So now we got to get out of here. The castles exploding uh, so we're gonna do our best uh, super metroid impression here get out of here so i'm gonna try my best not to open any chests because uh, this screen here is already pretty laggy um, i don't want to introduce any more sprites sprites if i don't have to there we go So is that it? Have we have we completed our quest? Uh, the princess and the, uh, the mountain goat are gonna bring us home, and then uh, the game gives you some coins here for uh, four purposes. If you didn't have enough money for full bombs, 
Uh, right now, they would uh, they would refill your bombs as soon as you get enough for one more. Um, usually, though, by the time you're at this spot here, you already have enough money for a full suite of bombs. Legit, yeah, you save the kingdom. Troublesome. Should know better. So we're going to jump off of the, uh, the ship there. Uh, it just saves a little bit of time. Time is coming up when I grab this scroll. Because we have phase two of the final boss coming here. Gonna tell us he's immortal, but I'm gonna throw three bombs at the clown to prove that he's not immortal. And time. Huh. Like you have that time of 1919. 1919. Uh, I say for you getting just one bomb coming out of uh, stage two and having to do the safe uh, strategy on the uh, stage three boss. 1919, I'll take it. Nicely done. Perfect. All right. Thanks for the GG's chat. Warwick. Go back to bed, man. Everybody, if, if it's like 5 a.m. I don't know what you guys. I don't know how you guys can do it. I went to bed at midnight last night. But also secretly stay. I I I don't want you to actually go to bed. Keep go to sleep like a dolphin with one brain, half your brain. Yeah. Asleep. If you need to sleep, do it for like 20 minutes, but also keep stream open, please. <laughs> All right, uh, I guess I'm back in a couple of hours for the Disney Relay Race. And I think uh, up next is Animaniacs. I actually really, really like that game. That's right, yeah. We have Animaniacs uh, with Supersonic 71087. Gonna be pretty awesome. Um, anything else you wanna say, uh, Paul Salty? No, I'm, I'm good, guys. Thanks for having me. Uh, no, it's early morning here. You guys have been crushing it overnight. Thank you guys very much. Yeah, no problem. This is our uh, this is our uh, love, our baby. Um, but yeah, thank you uh, very much, Paul. And uh, so yeah, we will have Supersonic coming up. Um, but this will also do it for my shift as host. And I'm going to go to sleep. It is now six in the morning. And I've been <laughs> up for a while. My sleep schedule is very strange, so now it will be fine. I will be at peace for a short while. But your next host will be the one and only Kick Ass Pancakes. Um, he's gonna start with uh, Animaniacs and he's gonna lead uh, up to the Disney Relay Race coming up later in a few hours. So, yeah, uh, thanks very much, everyone, and 